excited this is going to be a nice taste of what you're in for this is going to be about 25 percent of the straight in workout that i want you to do i'm going to do about 25 shots for you and i'll explain what i want you to do now right here i start off nice and easy okay, i'm using the third eye stroke trainer <coughs> So I stroke trainer and the lasers, and I'm going to do some simple stop shots. Start off the day, don't be in a rush. Work your stroke, nice and easy, soften up your hand. Don't try anything too hard right off the bat to get in touch with your stroke. Now I use these, you can see my table, right? It looks like a mad laboratory in there. I use these paper hole reinforcements to mark the ball positions. And I'm going to move the object ball about a foot, 10 to 12 inches away each time. And I'm trying to stop the cue ball. Now if you use the paper reinforcements, it's good because you can spot the object ball right back up there. And if you stop it perfect, the object ball will be frozen to the cue ball. So, we're working to get off on the right foot. And we're going to get aimed up properly. Now, when you line up with these lasers, the first time you line it up and you line up the cue ball and the object ball into a straight in shot, it very well might not look correct to you. Remember that. So you're going to be working with your stance and your head position and find a position that is most agreeable to the lasers. That's going to be the most important thing. Get you two working together. this exercise, I recommend that you start to develop a nice stroking cycle. You'll see, once I feel comfortable with it, I'm trying not to move my cue stick as I'm lining up. Once I feel like I, I'm, I am in the groove, or I am aligned properly, I try to take the same amount of strokes and keep the stroking cycle the same. I actually learned that from a very good instructor, one of the best instructors in the country. His name is Scott Lee. And Scott's a master instructor, travels around the country. And he's a very good teacher, so I recommend if you get a chance to get with him, you do so. Because the stroking cycle that he showed me definitely helped my game, and it helped my ability to teach also. What I do is take three strokes once I'm set up, and then on the fourth stroke, that's my delivery stroke. So you have a little hesitation at the cue ball, and then you have a little hesitation at the back of the stroke. And you try to follow straight through. Scott teaches with Randy G out of the Q-Tech Pool School that's in Dallas, Texas. And this stroking cycle they call set, pause, finish. So in the delivery stroke, you set the Q-tip at the cue ball, see if I can pick it up. Right there. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I'm not set. I must not be in right. One, two, three. A little hesitation at the cue ball and a little hesitation at the back. Now, I did five stop shots into this bottom right hand corner pocket. You would then move over and shoot five more into the left hand corner pocket. So you would shoot ten of those. That's with the third eye and the laser. That's ten of them. That's your first ten shots. And that's about as simple as you can start off. Then I would like you to shoot ten shots. Do the same ten shots without the third eye and without the laser training. With your normal bridge, your normal hand. So you would do twenty. I just did five of them. You would do twenty. Five into each corner. And 10 shots with the trainers and 10 shots without. Now, our next set of shots are draw shots. We're trying to draw the cue ball back to its original position. Or as close as possible. That's not that crazy. Again, you're moving the object ball out 10 to 12 inches at a time. And if you have a home table or even the pool room, they don't mind if you use these paper reinforcements because they go on and off they don't leave any marks 
a lot of players mark the table up with chalk. That's a little tougher. So you're actually doing the pool room a favor and your table a favor. Okay, so I'm about two feet away. Right here. I still have the third eye. You can throw the ball down. With the third eye stroke trainer. There's a lot of land right there. You can still throw the ball with the third eye stroke trainer. But what you want to do, because it's a little difficult to chalk it up, is you want to twist the clip right here. So you just twist it over a quarter tip or a half a tip. So now it's like you're hitting the cue ball with a freshly chalked tip. I'm going to keep the third eye on here because. I like how it, it helps me follow through, stay straight. So many players, including myself, have a little twist to the left or the right. The the laser. See how the forks look nice, nice? When you follow through on that line, it keeps you straight. Alright, now, all of you, you don't have to work from four and five feet away. And when I do, I take the third eye stroke trainer because the stroke. My stroke does get a little longer and it comes close come when it comes on the backswing. It comes very close to hitting the lasers. You don't want to interrupt the stroke. But most players, you don't have to work four or five feet away to begin with. Three feet is a good starting point. When you do this, you have to try your absolute best to still keep the stroking cycle the same and don't try real, real hard. Let the stick do the work. Go through the motions. Finish your stroke. I can't wait till you get used to this. After your first week of working with your new lasers, you'll have the routine down. In straight in shots, very, very important. This is where you can really get to improve your game and it carries over to all the shots. Alright, now I don't know if I made a little correction with a left there, a little bit offline. So that was five draw shots. You're trying to draw back the distance, draw the cue ball back to its original position. You would shoot five more into the left hand corner pocket and then repeat the same exercise without the trainers. So that would be a second group of 20 shots. So now, after 40 shots, your arm should feel pretty, pretty good. I have the object ball out in the center of the table. Cue ball is around the head string. And now I want you to get used to feeling your stroke. Get in touch with what that stick feels like in the groove there. One, two, three, four. Okay, total, total trust right here. Doesn't matter if you miss, you're gonna you're gonna shoot 20 shots. And I don't care if you miss all 20, you don't have to repeat it until you make it. But we're gonna put you can close your eyes. I'm putting my head down because it's on videotape and I want I didn't want people to think that uh, I was peeking. <laughs> Alright, get your aim really good. And repeat your stroking cycle. And I'm gonna take four strokes while I'm looking at it. And that's what my stroke should feel like. And when I put my head down, I try to take the same four strokes and repeat the feeling. Okay. I'm too sure there. One, two, three, hesitate.